That's it. Dr. Kathy. Now, how did you pronounce his last name? Philippi. Philippi. I mean, and I, I've been pronouncing it wrong. Philippi, a pediatrician at Trust Care Kids, and that is in Gluckstadt? It is. In Gluckstadt. Good morning, ma'am. Good to have you. Good morning. Man, helping children and families stay safe, Trust Care is beginning to offer the Pfizer BioNTech COVID 19. Now, explain this to the, the Pfizer. It's just really a is it a half dose or what is it? It's a third of the dose third of, of the dose. what an adult would get. All right. Now, let's talk about this. The ages are? So 5 to 12-year-olds would receive the lower dose, and once you turn 12, you would get the same dose as an adult. 5 to 11, and then 12 yeah, years five old. Yeah, 5 to 11. Five when to you 11. turn 12, yeah. And then at 12 years old, you get it. Exactly. Is that just one dose, or is it going to be two? So you're going to get one dose, and then in three weeks, you would be eligible for a booster, if you are late getting your booster, mm-hmm. there's no start over point. You would just get the booster. So it's one and the booster, not two and yes. the booster. One is, and the is um doctor, is Pfizer the only people doing this right now? Yes, it? it's the only one that's approved. But for the it. other two are being work they're on a way to approval? Or? Yes. Um talk to me. Tell me why you think this is a good idea. I just believe that we have tried lots of other techniques Mm -hmm. to control the virus, even just, um, you know, me personally praying it would just disappear and it hasn't. So we're here, we're, we're still facing, um, uncertain times and with the decrease in mask wearing and mandates against gathering, we have seen an uptick in regular childhood illnesses, specifically the flu last weekend, the football games introduced the flu and, um, I just feel like if if we have a delta wave like we had you know a few a month and a half ago mm-hmm. we will be in serious trouble if we're also having a flu epidemic. Um what what is the percentage of children do you think get a flu shot though because I think that's rather low too isn't it? It's very low. Yeah. Um I don't know the exact percentage but last year almost insignificant mm-hmm. amounts but we we still had flu vaccine in the summer which usually were out. It wasn't amazing because last year seemed seemed like the the flu just disappeared. Yes, and so, I think it was gather, yeah. gathering less and wearing masks. I will have to say this: that uh, Dr. Philippi has a uh, the Philippi 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 has a, a a the Trust Care Kids operation over there. Both of my grand, two of my grandkid uh, granddaughters go there. And it is the most unique because it's like a playground. It is. They, it does not look for the kids like it. Who designed that? So, you know, Trust Care came to me with these ideas. Yeah. And Warren Herring and Philip Coburn and their team of um, designers had had proposed this idea to me. And it was just unbelievable because I think that when you captivate a child's mind, yes, you know, the, distraction is the key to anything that's uncomfortable or scary. And so um, it's been a cool um, opportunity for me to practice. Is there a picture of that on the web where they can there see is. this? We have animal themed rooms and yeah. tables that look like the animal. We have smart boards made by Nuno Aaron. You have no idea that it's the doctor's office and the kids are there. As you said, they're totally uh, they're, they're occupied with everything. They're not just sitting there waiting to get a shot or something. Definitely. Why can't we do that for old people? Put some checkers? <laughs> I mean, hey, it's a great hey. idea. <laughs> So some some national old national geographics in there. <laughs> um, I've talked to several doctors and and I've asked them this question: if uh, if you had kids in that age group, would you recommend a shot? Every single one of them says yes without hesitation. Yes, and I think you know for me it is um, the theory of you know rules without relationship equal rebellion and this all the pandemic happened it was quick it took us by surprise Mm -hmm. and so many rules were implemented that Americans tend to push away from that and and I think the key is relationship so yes when I say I recommend this and I've given it to my children it helps people feel more confident and not as afraid we've divided the country so much that to say that I don't want to take the 
the vaccine just for personal reasons has become almost the patriotic thing to do right. or unpatriotic would depend right. on Depends which, which on side you, you stand on and it's a shame that it came to that do you think people should wait a while for this or just uh, absolutely not i think that you know messenger rna technology has been in the works since the 1980s mm-hmm. so it is not true to think that this vaccine is completely unknown to us Um, Initially, the studies were done trying to create a vaccine for HIV, which will probably benefit from it shifting toward a pandemic. But um, I'm not scared of the vaccine. In general, I give vaccines. I believe in prevention. I tell my patients, if you wash your hands, if you wear your seatbelt, if you want to prevent an illness rather than treat an illness, then you would vaccinate. Have you seen a change in in the practice as far as people are not coming down with as many colds now because we've yes. just changed our practice? And, and I think that's part of the decrease in flu. Yes. Well, and I would say that this yesterday we saw an overflow of people that are college. We see into college yeah. and the college students the wait times in the urgent cares are seven hours. So they're driving home to be tested for the flu because flu has exploded. And it's because it's the first year we've had normal games, football games where the stadium is yeah. full and nobody's wearing So we do have our outbreak of flu. Yes. Are the vaccines uh, matching they're available. That flu? They're available, but, you know, we start giving the vaccine in late September, early October, mm-hmm. and people just have not. We have given flu vaccine, but not to the degree that would protect against this. What would your What would your advice be as far as a parent uh, giving the flu vaccine and uh, at the same time the uh, COVID vaccine or just wait? So there are times when people come in requesting that in in my opinion, it is completely safe to mm-hmm. do that. But if you are nervous, I think spreading it out by a week would be fine. Um, you know, I have patients that choose, parents that choose both options. But they're two totally different vaccines. You, totally one of, different. In, in one in one arm, one in the other. Right. Have you seen some pretty bad cases as far as young kids uh, who had COVID and had not been vaccinated? So but prior to the Delta spike, mm-hmm. Most kids were either asymptomatic or, or lightly symptomatic. And so when you when you hear a person say, well, my child had a really light case, yes, I've seen, you know, lots of light cases. Mm-hmm. But no parent should ever have to stand over the bed of their child struggling to breathe for anything. Mm-hmm. And so the, the cases that we saw with the Delta variant were much more significant, affected affected more kids and and. I have had two multi-system inflammatory syndrome cases, Miss C, Mm -hmm. and they were both in 10-year-olds, so they weren't eligible for the vaccine, and they were both healthy, thin, with no other comorbid conditions, Um, and both of which will now be enrolled in the study that they have at UMMC for Miss C. Any commonality between those two? None. But you said that they had no morbidity. No, no asthma, no lung disease, no heart disease, no diabetes, no uh, thin, healthy 10-year-olds. I would imagine those people who do have kids that do have some of those defined uh, underlying conditions should be the first to get this done. Absolutely. My daughter actually has severe Crohn's disease mm-hmm. and is on immune suppression for that. And so we were, you know, we were at the door the second it was released for children. Website? You can go to our website at trustcarekids.com and make a, um, an appointment for the shot. We You're have open also, when? We're open 8 to 8, Monday through Friday, and 9 to 5 on Saturday. 9 to 5 on Saturday. 1 to 7 on Sunday. Walk-ins, or you have to have We take walk-ins. walk-ins. Walk-ins, too. All the way yes. up to 19 years old? We All the way up to 24. 24 is not pediatrician. Well, you know, I... <laughs> I believe that the problems that face a 20 to 24-year-old. No, and, and it's nice that they can do that. Yes. Congratulations. Go to sure. the website. One more time on the website. Look at look at this thing. You'll love it. Yes. It is? The website? One more time. So, trustcarekids.com. Good to see you.